Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, September 1st, 2020. Uh, slightly busy day for me today. Got physical therapy. Um, hopefully, I get the go ahead to actually do some more, uh, more leg work. Um, let's go ahead and check the weight this morning. Oh man, I am tired this morning for some reason. I slept pretty well last night, so I don't know why I'm so tired, but 241, wait, two. What the fuck? I don't know. Oh, I think I just need some caffeine, so go ahead and do my morning routine and uh, catch up with you guys in a bit. going on everyone wow you are droopy i cannot seem to get this right sorry about that i need a new one of these or i just need to put this higher i don't know but yeah we're working with what we got here we are on our way now to the cairo god this is bothering me okay hold on Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to hold you like this. We are on our way to the PT. About to get this physical therapy on. Um, I'm really hoping that today's session goes pretty well. And I'm really hoping that I get permission to start training my legs a bit more intensely than I am now. Um, I haven't trained my legs directly for a while, and last week was the first time I really did anything for them, and I did some hip thrusts, and I did um, some squats and deadlifts at 30 to 35%, um, and I'm hoping that with my knee feeling really good right now, we get permission we as in me, I get permission to bump those percentages up to like 50 so I can start ramping and then hopefully by the end of this month, since it's September 1st, hopefully by the end of this month we can start a regular program. So, you know, getting back into actually trying to build my squat and deadlift and build my legs by September I think that's a good goal I know the guy said that he wants me back there at least two more times so this will be one and the next week will probably be the other what I'm really hoping is that those are just sort of like checkup type situations and everything is gonna be okay it's just sort of like a formality type of deal, you know, I'm just coming in here, seeing how I've progressed and whatever, and uh, yeah, that is what I am hoping. So, that's pretty much what's gonna happen right now. So I better start focusing on the road, um, and I'll check with you guys afterwards. What's going on everybody, back at the crib. Um, finished PT, finished class, um, PT went really well. They are tentative to let me actually load it pretty heavily, but they did say just keep going, um, but like very, very gradually, essentially is what they said. So I'm going to play it really, really safe. I'm going to just bump up to about 40% today and then 45% on Friday. And I'll probably just take it about 5% every time. Probably if I get up to 75%, 80%, and it's still not giving me that much trouble, then I will, you know, give it a thumbs up, which, let's see, that'll probably be, let's see, next week will be 50s, week after that will be 60s, week after that will be 70s, so yeah. My original projection was about four to six weeks. It's looking like, yeah, basically 
the entire month of September, maybe a little bit of October, I'm still going to be rehabbing this thing. Um, hopefully, that's not the case. But with a bum knee, you got to take it slow. And although I really feel ready to go, i got to be a little bit more patient. But um, on the flip side, it does give me a bit more time to work on my mobility so that when I do come back, I come back looking very pretty. Speaking of pretty, uh, <laughs> the cut is uh, so far so good. I know it's only been like a few days, but I am really excited and, uh, you know, really excited to get pretty lean. Um, I know I haven't really talked about what I'm going to do yet. I'll probably do that after this gym session right now, uh, but I do need to go to the gym. I'm gonna come back, I'll need to do a little bit of homework, but then after that, I should be good to go. So we're gonna take pre-workout right now. Today's pre-workout is the other Max Tuning Legend Ghost collab, and that is the Mango Margarita. Now, originally, the strawberry daiquiri that I had yesterday was absolutely my favorite of the two. But more recently, as I've started to go back to the gym and started to have this flavor again, it's actually kind of grown on me a little bit. Take a little bit extra, try to get some of these clumps out of here. That tends to happen with a lot of flavors. Sometimes initially, they'll just be terrible, or not terrible, but I won't like them. And then as I try them more, they grow on me. I believe that the formula for this particular collab is the same as all the other legend formulas. I know sometimes when they do collabs, the formulas are a little different. Wow. Oh man. It's kind of intensely sour. Jeez. Um, holy crap. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that sour. I did have a little chocolate today, some dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Uh, I try to get some in every day. Not every day, but like when I can. I try to get some in because it's just my absolute favorite. And wow, I wonder if that is what's making this so sour. Like, geez. <laughs> it's almost so sour I can't taste anything else. I was going to talk about this flavor, but it is hitting me like a truck. Good Lord. Maybe I put too much clumps in it. The clumps can fuck with the flavor too, so. Oh, that is sour. That is very sour. Um, Sir Max himself would be pretty pleased with that considering he owns a sour candy company. But wow, I'm going to need to pace myself on that. Sip it on the way to the gym. Um, today is an upper back day. So, we're pretty much going to do exclusively rows. That's kind of how I've been doing it. I like a big heavy row at the start, so a pen layer row, and then, you know, move on to some sort of smaller rows, and then uh, finish off with some face pulls. And that's pretty much how I've been structuring these days. There really isn't anything else other than rows. So, <sighs> excited. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, go to the gym. What's going on guys? So, welcome to the upper back workout. Now, I usually start these upper back workouts with like my lower body lifts. And the reason for that is just because I think it's part of my warm up. I can sort of treat it like that. So we got some squats and some deadlifts here, really light, 40%, which on squats is 125 pounds. And on deadlifts, I believe is 140. And I just do three sets of five, for these squats, I'm really focused on making sure that I'm not favoring one side. You know, I want to make sure that knee is coming back strong and it's working in synchronous with all my other muscles and I don't favor the left or right side coming up. And uh, yeah, there might be some tweaks to my squat that I think about doing. Um, may switch to low bar, uh, but as you can see, these look terrible and mobility is definitely needed. Uh, one switch I'm definitely making on these deads 
is I am switching to hook grip permanently, or I'm going to try to. Uh, the reason being is I feel like the bar swings out on my heavier sets when I'm deadlifting, and I want to eliminate that swing. So the only way to do that is to have both my hands over, and the only way to do that with significant weight is to uh, do a hook grip. I'm going to give the old college try and try it for probably at least a year, see if I get up to heavier weights with it and how it feels. Um, here we get into the real workout. These are penlay rows. So this is only 165 pounds because that bumper weighs 35. And uh, these are sets of five on these rows. Now, what I'm really focused on here is eliminating any sort of body English. I want these to be extremely strict, as strict as I can possibly make them. And, uh, you know, I just feel it more in my back when it's more strict. And I really want to get disciplined about a lot of things in lifting and I think this is a place to start so we'll try to make sure the back is the only thing doing any work and it's not being helped by any sort of momentum or sway so that is the objective behind these really straight penalty rows I'll probably just add a rep each week to every set and uh, we'll kind of see how that plays out so these are dumbbell rows these are 85 pound dumbbells for only a few sets of 10 um, and I'm probably going to rotate these out, to be honest. I like dumbbell rows, um, but to be honest, I don't know how well I'm doing on them in terms of keeping the body English to a minimum. And I find that my grip is always a limiting factor on these. And I could row so much more with the dumbbells if my grip wasn't a thing. So I decided to rotate them out and focus on some other lifts. Uh, particularly this next one coming up, which is the shoulder width cable row. And with these, I'm focusing on a full retraction and kind of a little bit of a protraction, leaning forward just a little bit. I know it kind of looks like I'm sort of swinging, but I'm just trying to get that really nice stretch in the lap by leaning forward and then getting that full range of motion contraction in the back as I can. Uh, bring it back as well. So all the ropes we're taking today. So we did cable reverse flies for rear delts instead of uh, face pulls. Um, I like face pulls more, uh, but I don't deny the fact that these work pretty well. So we finished off the workout today with some planks. Um, another thing other than mobility is definitely core strength and stability. And that's something that I need to work on a lot more too. So I'll probably be including these at the end of my route routines as well so thank you guys for listening and i'll see you guys later all right everyone what's going on back at the crib again <laughs> and uh i was just checking in to uh sort of close out this video nothing really else needs to be said hopeful this time next week i'm getting the all clear you know my knee feels good so i really don't know <sighs> i trust him i'm trying not to be impatient it's hard uh, but, you know, trust the process and all that good shit. So uh, we are going to just be patient. So I know I was supposed to talk about nutrition today and it didn't really work out or it's not going to. I just need to sit down and write it. I probably just need to sit down and write out sort of the main ideas of what I need to be doing and all that stuff. What I'm going to be doing with my nutrition. Then just talk about it in video format. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.